guys, welcome back to Ages Paintings. Okay, so I have a canvas here which is uh, 11 by 14 inches and I have covered it with white paint mixed with float oil and water, same consistency. The white paint that I'm using here is Artist Loft Titanium White and I mixed it with float oil and water. Um, I just mixed it in there, I just had this bottle so I just put it in and labeled it white so I know that my white paint is mixed in there. Um, I just covered it very very thin layer. I don't cover it too much. Like I don't put the paint too thick on it. Uh, it's uh, always like a thin layer. It's covering completely, but it's a thin layer. And I went over with my butane torch once to make sure there are no bubbles. Um, I can do it one more time. Oh. Just to make sure we don't have any more bubbles. Again, I say that every time I show you guys how to use this. Please make sure you're moving your hands, you're not staying at one spot or you will burn your paint. And now I'm going to layer my paints in the middle. Starting with my violet that I mixed. This one is Artist Loft Neon Violet. I have Neon Pink by Artist Loft. Ice Blue by Deco Art, Old Gold by Artist Loft, Blue Green Iridescent by Pebio, and I have Blue Black Iridescent by Pebio. I'm just mixing them up because I haven't used them for a while. And I just want to make sure all my paints are mixed really well before I start. And the top one that I'm going to use um, for my swipe is black as usual. This one is Artist Loft Black. Um, this one is Flow Acrylic uh, mixed with Flow Troll and Water. All of them are Flow Troll and Water. There is no silicone in this. I get this question a lot. If there is silicone in my black, there is no silicone in my black. It's, it's mixed the same way all the other paints are mixed in. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start with my blue-green iridescent by Pebio. I'm going to just eyeball the middle of the canvas and I'm going to make a straight line. Or straight enough. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. That's definitely not perfect. All right. Now we are going to go ahead with our violet, neon violet. This is by Artist Loft. Okay. Doesn't matter which way you go, it, it's the same thing. Just stay in the middle. So once you put in the next paint, next color, the ones that you put in before, it spreads out a little bit so you can see them both together. Now I'm gonna do blue black iridescent by Pebio. Neon pink. I know somebody who is seeing this video the first time, they're gonna think like what? Neon pink for a tree? <laughs> but trust me, it looks beautiful in the end. Ice blue by Deco Art. Oops, I'm going to miss my pink there, but that's okay, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, and now Old Gold by Artist Loft. I love this color. 
right last but not the least my black but I think I might lose my pink so I'm just gonna put in a little bit more I know I don't usually do two color, one color twice but why not All right, last one, black. Okay, this one in here, it has some big bubbles in it. There we go. Okay, so at this point, we need to pop the bubbles again. And now I'm going to start swiping again. I'm going to use these cardboards that come with the uh, with the canvas for uh, the packing. So I'm I just cut them into small pieces and I use this shiny side on the bottom, uh, and I just look for a straight edge. And this one looks straight enough. And I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to start from black. This black I feel like I mixed it some time ago and feel like it's it's spreading. So it's just kind of sinking in. But, well, let's see what happens. So I'm going to start in the middle from the black. Dig in a little bit. And then start moving. There we go. And you want to wipe your um, cardboard clean with a paper towel. I feel like this part here might have been just digging in a little bit in the paint more than I wanted to. Okay, so now we're gonna we're going to overlap it a little bit. This part right here, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. It actually looks cool. Um, I'm gonna just overlap it. Start in the black again, and I feel like the black is just losing. I'm gonna put a little bit more. not even giving me time to do this okay let's do this again very very light hand okay I really don't like this card now I'm going to change it because it's it's repeating and I don't like that so I'm going to change this one to another one Okay, because this is right there, so I'm just going to use a small one actually. Let me see. Uh, doesn't look like it's straight. Okay, then I'll just use this. It has to be straight. Perfect. See, this is how you're supposed to be. Like this, this whole white part. Um, it's going to disappear with everything else so it's not going to bother me too much because I can see already see some cells popping up okay now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side um, just make sure you wipe it clean every time and you're starting in your black again okay again let it sit and then very slowly Perfect. Okay, wiping it clean every time. Again, overlap a little bit. Perfect. Okay, last one. use this side yeah oh 
Okay. No worries. Just using a small one. There. All right. I can see a lot of beautiful cells popping. Okay, so now is the tree time. I'm not worried about this too much because it's going to hide behind the branches. So it should be fine. For the tree, I'm going to use a smaller piece cut out. And I'm gonna start from the bottom as always and I'm gonna start to make my first branch. So you're gonna put it in the middle right here where your black is. And I'm gonna take it doesn't really matter how what kind of shape you want and wipe it clean every time now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side you can see I don't like to make them same I try to change them as I go so they don't look like they're all coming from the same like a mirror image of the other one Okay, on the other side. Okay, so now you can decide if you want to keep going or if you want to stop, it's up to you. I like to leave some spaces in between in here if there are like pretty cells I can see. I'm just trying to give it like an old tree look where right? this like branches coming down I don't want to touch this part I love this part here okay I think I'm going to stop okay I'm gonna turn this around so you can see 
how it looks. I like these um, uh, Pebio paints, these iridescent ones. They look so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop here. I'll see once it's dry if there's anything that I can um, I can change about it. I will do that. But for now, I think it's really good. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you a close-up as usual. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I love you guys. And um, please do comment down below if you have any questions, if you like it. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people trying these trees and um, thank you for tagging me because then I get to see them and I get very very happy when I see those uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video don't forget to see the the close-up before you go bye